Hello everyone, this is Nitin Mohud and today we are going to see inductive transducer. Inductive transducer LVDT. LVDT is linear variable differential transformer. This is the diagram of LVDT and this LVDT is the best example of inductive transducer. It basically converts the linear motion of the core into electrical signal that is into differential output voltage basically it's a transformer since consists of two windings primary and two secondary windings s1 and s2 which are bound on a cylindrical former this is the former upon which the windings are wound secondaries have equal number of turns that is s1 and s2 have equal number of turns and they are placed on either side of the primary Primary winding is connected across AC source. This is very general because in every transformer we use to connect primary winding to AC source and a movable soft iron core is placed inside the former. This is the area which is a former. The displacement to be measured is attached to the arm which is connected to the soft iron core. This core is made up of high permeability nickel iron which is hydrogen annealed. This hydrogen annealed is a process we will see what it is. Thus and this is done to give low harmonics, low null voltage and high sensitivity. Permeability is what? It is basically the property of the material to create its internal field when placed in a magnetic field. So this is a high permeability nickel ion which will produce its own field when placed in a magnetic field and which is hydrogen annealed the meaning is doing this to iron core if this hydrogen annealing process is done with this iron core what it does it reduces the harmonics and residual voltage here you can see the diagram that is the circuit diagram of LVDT that how actually it looks so here you can see one primary winding which is excited with the AC source and two secondary windings S1 and S2 on other side of the core which are connected in series a position like this and the output is taken between these two points. Since the S1 and S2 they are connected in series a position the output voltage which you get across these two points called as the differential output voltage and it is the difference of two voltages existing between S, S across S1 and S2 and the core is exactly put at the center of the primary and two secondaries which we generally used to call it as a null position of the core. On exciting primary with AC source it produces alternating magnetic field and induces AC voltage in both the secondaries. So as I already told that this primary is excited with the AC source, the alternating current starts flowing like this. And since alternating current flow starts flowing like this to the, to the primary, the alternating magnetic field is induced or it is created and it is induced across S1 and S2. So magnetic flux from primary will link with S1 and S2 and that leads to the induction of the voltage across S1 and S2. Output obtained across secondary S1 is V1 while the output obtained across S2 secondary S2 is V2. To convert outputs at secondary S1 that is V1 and output at secondary S2 that is V2 into single voltage source this S1 and S2 they are connected in a series of position this we have already seen hence the output voltage of the transducer V0 is equal to V1 minus V2 which is also called as a differential output voltage when the core is at null position means when the core is exactly at the center of primary and two secondary windings equal number of fluxes will link with S1 and S2 therefore the voltage induced in S1 that is V1 and the voltage induced with S2 that is V2 they will be equal and therefore the output final output 
of the LVDT that is V0 is equal to V1 minus V2 and since V1 is equal to V2 you will get V1 minus V2 is equal to 0 volts at null position. Now we will see another case where we are moving the core this core to the left side right to some distance. Now what, happen, what happens here the number of fluxes linking from primary here to secondary are more as compared to the fluxes linking from primary to secondary S2. Hence, the output voltage which you are getting across S1 that is V1 will be more as compared to the output voltage you are getting across S2 that is V2 and therefore the output final output voltage that is the differential voltage which you are getting between these two points will be V0 is equal to V1 minus V2. Since here V1 is more than V2, it is taken as V1 minus V2. And this is the case where the output voltage V0 is in phase with the primary voltage. Second case, we can take it like this by moving the core towards right. Now we have moved this core to the right side and therefore more number of fluxes now are linking from primary P to secondary S2 as compared to primary P to secondary S1 and therefore the voltage induced in S2 that is V2 will be more here as compared to the voltage induced in S1 that is V1 and therefore the differential voltage will be V0 will be equal to now it will be V2 minus V1 okay and here in this case the differential output voltage which we are getting here that will be 180 degree out of phase with the primary winding voltage. AC output voltage of LVDT which is shown here on the y axis is a linear function of core displacement which is a core displacement which is shown on the x axis within the limited range of displacement about 5 mm from null position. This is the null position and the displacement of core to right is up to A for example and to left it is up to B. So here 5 mm and here 5 mm right displacement we are considering and this is the area where we are considering the 5 mm displacement of the core towards left and towards right. So what is happening with AC output voltage? So AC output voltage of LVDT is a linear function. So you are seeing this curve very linear up to the distance of 5 mm. But after 5 mm the curve is getting deviated from its linearity. So it deviates from the straight line. So far advantages of LVDT is concerned it has got high range that around 1.25 mm to 250 mm of displacement can be easily measured with friction and electrical isolation. Electrical isolation means electrical separation and frictionless device we are calling it because since there is no physical contact between movable core and coil. It's an electrical transformer with separate non-contacting core. So far power consumption is concerned it has very low power consumption and which is less than 1 watt. Low hysteresis means low losses. That means you can repeatedly perform the experiment or you can repeatedly take the displacement measurement with the help of LVDT number of times. Rudgeness is the toughness of the instrument. It means it is a very tough instrument and since it is a tough, it can sustain high degree of shocks and vibrations. And above all, it has got high output and high sensitivity. It is also associated with some of the disadvantages. The first disadvantage is relatively large displacement required for appreciable differential output. For even getting small differential output voltage, you need to make more displacement. That is one of the disadvantages. Sensitivity for stray magnetic field. Stray magnetic field means unwanted magnetic field or the magnetic field which is existing in the vicinity or in the surrounding of LVTT which may affect the differential output voltage. 
receiving instrument must be selected to operate on AC. Otherwise, demodulator network requires to be used. As we have already said, that LVDT is basically a transformer. So it's, it is excited with AC input and output is also an AC. And therefore, the receiving instrument at the output side should be operated on AC. If it is not operated on AC, then in that case, we will require a demodulator network for it. Uses of LVDT, it can be used in all applications where displacement ranging from fraction of mm to few centimeters have to be measured. Used as a secondary transducer while measuring the physical quantities like force, weight, pressure. We have already seen in the previous video that in burden tube LVDT combination, where the pressure we are measuring in terms of the differential output voltage, there LVDT is used as a secondary transducer. It is used as a primary transducer while converting displacement directly to electrical output voltage. Friends, I hope this slideshow has cleared you the idea about the inductive transducers through the example of LVDT its graphical changes, advantages, disadvantages and uses. Thank you.